Oh, right, resistivity then. So if I take this piece of wire here, this piece of wire is going to have a resistance. Now, the resistance of this piece of wire is going to depend on three things. So firstly, it's going to depend on the length of it. Now, a longer piece of wire is going to have a higher resistance. It's also going to depend on the thickness. A thicker wire is going to have less resistance. Now, a better way of looking at it than thickness is to look at something called the cross-sectional area. So cross-sectional area, by that I just mean if I take the wire and I cut it like this straight down the middle, the cross-sectional area is going to be just the area of one of the exposed faces that I've uh, exposed by cutting it like straight down the middle like that. Um, so that's the cross-sectional area. A larger cross-sectional area is going to have less resistance. Now, the third thing it's going to depend on is the material itself. Now, it's going to depend on a specific property of the material itself, a property called resistivity. Now, the resistivity of a material just means how good that thing is at resisting current. Um, so, for example, a copper cable is going to be very poor at resisting current, so it's going to have a very low resistivity. Uh, it's important to know that it doesn't matter how big your copper is or how long it is or how thick it is or how wide it is, it's, it's the material itself that has the property so it's always going to have the same property no matter how big it is, no matter how long it is. It's always going to have the same resistivity. It's dependent on the material itself. Um, so something like every material has a resistivity, so copper is going to have a resistivity, aluminium is going to have a resistivity, even glass is going to have a resistivity, albeit a very very high one because it's a very poor conductor. Now there is an equation we can use for resistance that involves resistivity. So the resistance of a wire we've discussed earlier is going to depend on three things. So firstly, the resistivity of the metal. Now, higher resistivity means that metal is going to be better at resisting. So it's, it's going to make it bigger, make the resistance bigger. Uh, secondly, the length of the wire. A longer wire is going to have more resistance. Uh, and a larger cross-sectional area is going to actually make the resistance go down. So we're going to put that on the bottom of our equation. So we have an equation that looks like this. We've got resistivity multiplied by length divided by cross-sectional area is equal to the resistance. And that's, how, that's what resistivity is, and that's a new equation for resistance that you can use uh, just by looking at the dimensions of your wire and the, and the resistivity of the metal that it's made from.